Sarah announced it's five minutes to go. Um, I'm very calm. I'm prepared as I can be. Basically, I wasn't happy with the first few rows that I did. So I'm starting to think, OK, well, what happens if I do cook really bad gnocchi today? Yeah, as I look down and there's only a few minutes to go, I actually see Alex is still making her gnocchi. So I'm actually a little bit concerned as to whether she's going to play it on time. Chris and Alex, one minute left. So I start to prepare my dish. Last few moments before Sarah calls time, Alex finally is in the process of actually completing a dish. That was literally down to the last minute. The last 10 seconds, it was just literally on the plate. Guys. Time is up. I'm happy with the way it looks, and I've actually got Noki on the plate for the very first time in my cooking life. Chris, please bring your dish forward. And Alex, please bring your dish to the bench. My dish is plate one. And Alex's dish is plate two. Our three judges will taste both your dishes and I'll each give a score out of 10. The person with the highest combined total out of 30 will win. It's a really nice gnocchi. Whoever made this has made it before. I will say, though, that I think the prawns have cooked too long in saying that. It's not unpleasant. It's really nice. It's nice and prawny. You get that lemon flavour. The gnocchi's, um, the, the gnocchi's beautiful. It's nice and light. It's not rubbery. It's not like a bullet. And the prawns think should be popping. See, when you bite into a prawn, a great prawn kind of resists the teeth, and then suddenly you, you, you bite through it, and so you got to pop like that. OK, it's time to taste plate number two. The gnocchi, very, very similar. Very, very similar. Hard to tell the difference. From the verjuice. I love the flavour of this one a little bit more than the last one. It's a bit more zing in it. But I love the, the gnocchi in the last one. This is like, you know, we're going into a penalty shootout here, honestly. They're much of a muchness. The sage on this one I pick up, which is... To me, it tastes much more alive, much more vibrant. The, the prawns ping and pop in your mouth. The sage is really kind of herbal. However, if you're sitting at home and you're wanting that kind of whole, you know, filling, mashed potato-y, dark butter, kind of rich, you know, salty intensity that the other dish had, then, you know, I can see, I can see in terms of you put the two down in front of different people. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, we scored the dishes. Let's go and let them know our decision. Chris, you've just cooked off against esteemed chef Alex Herbert. You both cooked 
potato gnocchi with prawns, burnt butter and crispy sage. Now our three judges have tasted both your dishes and given them a score out of 10 without knowing who cooked which dish. Now Chris, if you win today, you'll be heading home to return in the final week of the MasterChef competition with a very clear shot at the title. Well judges, I can now tell you that plate one belonged to Chris. Gary, your thoughts on plate one? Well, I gave plate one seven out of ten. The nut brown butter was a little bit, you know, intense, and the prawns were a wee bit overcooked. But you know what? I paid good money for that, and I think you did a fine job. Thank you. Eight out of ten. Yeah, okay, and the prawns were a tad overcooked, but hey, you know what? It was beautiful. Thank you. Matt, over to you. Six out of ten. Brown butter was a little bit overdone, and the prawns were a little bit too cooked. Having said that, as a first effort, very impressive. Well, Chris, that's a score of 21 out of a possible 30. Well done. Of course, plate two was Alex's. Gary, what score did you give Alex's dish? Gary, eight out of 10. <laughs> thank you for your beautiful dish. Oh, thank you very much. Nine out of 10. <laughs> the flavor was just magical and the, the prawn was cooked to perfection. Well, Chris, Alex has scored 17 so far. You have a total score of 21, which means Alex needs to score five or more from Matt to win. Matt, please reveal your score and the winner of today's challenge. Eight out of 10. Congratulations, Alex. That gives you a total score of 25, which makes you the winner of today's Celebrity Chef Challenge. Alex, on behalf of Matt, George and myself, and of course Chris and Sarah, we thank you for coming in today and imparting some of your knowledge, certainly showing Chris how to make a fantastic gnocchi. Much appreciated. Thank you very much, and um, it was a pleasure being here. All the best. Thank you I'm so sure much. I'm sure you'll do really well. Great. Okay, you. see you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, Alex. Chris, well done today. Treasure that recipe, and you never know, we might be in that, that beer bar eating gnocchi, maybe with braised lamb shanks through it or something. I can see that on the menu. Brilliant. Well done. Top job. I rate today really, really highly. It's given me one more dish that I can actually develop into something that's going to suit where I'm heading with the beer business, so it's been invaluable. It's one of been one of the best experiences so far.